What's going down, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's your boy, Josh, a.k.a. Coleman, chilling like a villain, man. We're in the studio, and before we jump into today's episode, got to show off a little bit. New ESPX merch is now available. If you guys want to scoop some up, including hats, by the way, we do have hats. Uh, we have, oh, men's clothes. We've got women's clothes. We've got baby clothes. We've got bandanas for your dogs we have duffel bags to put your rc cars in we've got all kinds of stuff if you guys are interested in repping and, and rocking some espx merch link is in the description below head on head on over i got that i got to head on over to my spreadshirt store and uh, scoop yourself something up man that being said today we're going to get into an epic episode something that's been highly requested for quite a while now ever since uh, axial fest basically we are going to do the overview on Project Blood Money. My Axial SEX 10 to Land Rover Defender D110 pickup truck build. So without further ado, uh, I'll see you guys at the bench. Let's do this. All right, you guys, here it is. Project Blood Money laid out for everybody to see. This is, uh, this is my baby, man. I put a lot of time and effort into this build. Um, there's a lot of very, very cool parts on this build. Um, some cheap, some expensive, uh, some unique. Uh, there's just a lot of really cool things on this build. And um, for me, this project kind of symbolizes flexing. You know, this is this is flexing a little bit. It's not meant to be the ultimate scale truck. It's not meant to be the ultimate crawler or whatever. This is what most people would consider a shelf queen, except for I drive it. And um, that's that's the only difference. I, uh, I, I don't want to say I spared no expense because there's still some very basic things that I have not done to this that I'll probably do later. Um, I just didn't, I didn't want to get all into it and I was kind of rushed on this. Like for instance, 
you notice there's no lights in the dash, right? Um, instead of lighting the dash, I just used stickers and uh, made my own cool little gauge set up there, right? Because it's a Holmes Hobbies powered vehicle, Holmes Hobbies powered axial. Um, I made it like an electric one, right? There's no scale engine under there. There's an actual electric engine under there. So I'm just kind of rocking the whole electric thing. And um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just an excuse. Anyways, uh, I love it, man. I think this thing's pretty dope. I put a lot of time into selecting the parts and coming up with the look that I wanted for this. Um, these parts are mainly off-the-shelf parts that you can get. Uh, this body is just, you know, it's available through most of the Chinese companies. Um, you know, tires and wheels are, you know, stuff that you can buy from A-Main. Uh, same with all the Knight Customs parts. You can buy all these Knight Customs parts through A-Main. Um, it's just, it's, it's really just stuff that anyone can get. But I I wanted to show that, you know, I can build a flashy truck too. Not just things like the old beater yellow Jeep, right? Or the simple TJ. Um, I, I wanted to show that I could, uh, I had a little bit of taste when it came to, when it came to, a little flavor, a little sauce, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> So yeah, so here she is, man. This is a this is a project blood money, and I'm proud of it. I really enjoy it. It has been driven, so if you're seeing scratches and stuff like that, that's because as I scratch it on the back right there, that's because I do drive it. Um, it's not perfect right now. It's it's got scratches, you know. It's got some bruises already, uh, but I love it, man. So let's talk about what's underneath this thing. Um, basically, what this is is an axial SCX102. Uh, I got, I don't remember if I started with the kit version or the RTR version. I believe this started as the kit version uh, due to the links. No, I don't remember. No, because these links, I added these links. I don't remember if this started as a kit version or not. But basically, um, it's an Axial SEX 10-2. Um, I believe this was an RTR because it has the RTR transmission, right? And I didn't leave the RTR transmission normal, obviously. I converted it to an ESP anti-spur layout. Um, that is, let's see if I can prop this up right here and get you guys a little bit of a view underneath here. Uh, so if you can see in there, there is a, eh, you can't really see very well, can you? Um, there is a drive shaft right up there that is running up to the front, right? So it's the regular transmission with my ESP anti-spur layout. Um, since we have it up like this, let's go ahead and talk about what's underneath of it. It's got uh, Vanquish Curry Rock Jock AR44 style axles. Um, it has SSD uh, scale drive shafts front and rear. Um, I use a bomber one in the rear for the extra long length. Um, let's see, what else do we got under here? It has axial uh, aluminum links. You can still buy these. These are from like the SCX10 back in the day. Um, it has Curry uh, anti-rock sway bar kit in the rear. It has an RC four-wheel drive uh, transmission extension, right? Which I'm not sure if you can quite see all of it because I have stuff bolted to it. But yeah, that's there. Uh, it has Icon vehicle dynamic shocks. It has uh, method. Oops. These things right here, I need to adjust. This one tire, for some reason, the uh, foam is kind of fighting me. But this, uh, the wheels and tires are basically a combination of, um, oh, what were these? These were the Vanquish KMCs, I believe, right? Yeah, the Vanquish KMCs, the Enduros, if I remember right, with the uh, KMC Enduro rings. And then uh, on top of that, I put the regular uh, method rings. I, I don't know if those are method rings or just their regular VP rings uh, in black, right? And then the center cap is the XD series uh, center cap. I got those in there. And then I did those all the way around plus on the spare, except minus the XD center cap, which I have one. It's just, there's no point in really putting it on there. So um, let's see what else. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, we have, as far as electronics go, we have a Holmes Hobbies SHV 500 servo up front. And see if I can get a shot of that in there. There you can kind of see it, the BLS SHV 500 servo. Um, I have a Holmes Hobbies BLE 
Pro, the Trailmaster BLE Pro ESC right there. Uh, that is running to, oh, I don't remember what size motor. It's a Polar Pro. Let's go ahead and pop this. This is one of the things I broke already is the hinges on this, so I can actually just pull that right off. Um, here we go. It's a little dirty under here. Uh, but Holmes Hobbies uh, Polar Pro. This is the 4500 kV Polar Pro, not a stubby. This is the regular version, um, 540 size. This has axial inner fender kit. Uh, it has a uh, Sanwa MT44 radio with a RX481 receiver. Um, it's got a GT power light kit. It's got a uh, Phoenix Design LED light bar. Uh, which is on a switch by the way. I do have a switch right here so I can turn the light bar off It also turns off the front two fog lights there and it turns off the stereo which is inside It has a mob audio stereo running just one of the speakers um, Yeah, and uh, what else we've got a Holmes Hobbies BR mini ESC powering a uh, working as a winch a winch controller powering a Xeon 10 winch um, which I need to tighten the ferro lead on. And then, what else? The body is the China D110 body. Um, it has the Con Defender wide body kit on it with, you know, the front grill and all the parts for it. Um, it has the, I don't remember who made this. Um, I'm not 100% sure who made this snorkel. I think it's, I don't know if it's, I got it from Amin, and I'm not 100% sure who made it. I, I honestly cannot remember off the top of my head, but it is available at Amin. Um, it's got the Night Customs opening doors, uh, or half doors, or whatever you want to call them. They're pretty sweet. Um, it's got some scale accessories in there, obviously. You know, drinks. You got to have your drinks. Got the fire extinguisher, just in case you don't want it to burn down. And, uh, yeah. You can see the sub for the uh, Mob Audio stereo system back there as well. Um, the amp for that is behind this seat right here. I don't know if you can see it through the window right there, but right there is the amp. And it's super small, um, easy to hide, so nobody even sees it back there. Then, what else? Uh, obviously, RC4 wheel drive, high lift jack. Um, we've got a Knight Customs pool pal. Uh, we've got a surfboard is obviously um, super dope and everyone's always asking me about it. This is from an Elvis uh, an Elvis Presley toy and the stickers from a local dispensary here in Bend that I support. Um, also as far as stickers it has my ESPX stickers and uh, some other ESP stickers on it like the shocker right here and I think there's another one somewhere. Holmes Hobby sticker in the back um all terrain all conditions sticker uh and the rear tailgate vanquish sticker and a night custom sticker um i'll probably add more stickers i just did those uh because that's what i had on me at the time when i was getting ready for axial fest um what else what else what else i cannot think of anything else really that i've got done to this man it's got a bunch of scale hardware from um I think that's SSD and a couple other places. I got a few different brands of scale hardware on this thing, honestly. And yeah, oh, it's got shock towers uh, from CBE RC Fab in the rear. And then the battery is a EcoPower um, 3S. I believe it's a 4100 milliamp 3S. And uh, I get that from A Main. I get all this stuff from A Main. Oh, and it's got the ESP anti spur mount. Um, so as you can see, that's why it has the forward motor set up with the gear reduction unit. That's just the Chinese gear reduction unit, 10 to 1 unit. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you guys, man. It's a pretty slick build. I really like it. I'll do a quick demo right here um, as far as the control goes. And then uh, we will take it out and do a first run on another video. But it won't be a first run for me, but a first run for you guys. You can see... Tons of control when it comes to the servo. Ridiculous amount of control. And, uh, oh yeah, front bumper is also from Night Customs. I should tell you that. Front bumper's from Night Customs, and it has uh, this rear bumper 
And it's from another gentleman off of Shapeways. I'm forgetting his name right now, but I will try to link that in the description or if someone can remind me in the comments, I'll try to leave a link or something. But um, a fellow gentleman off Shapeways did this rear bumper. Uh, I used the mounts for it too, but I did not use them how they were recommended um, just because my build is a little bit different. It's a little custom. So I did make it work though for me. So shout out to that guy uh, for making a pretty cool versatile product. Worked really well. Um, it's got the, uh, I don't know if this is RC four wheel drive one or not, but got the D ring shackle on the back. Um, also has mad tracks from RC four wheel drive has night customs, uh, rear, um, roll bar right here. And then also night customs, uh, roof rack and I think that's it now. Now I think that's it. I also have like um, some, you know, just scale parts from Shapeways door hinges. Um, these hinges I need to replace. I'm really bummed on those. But yeah, yeah. So there. Now I think I think that's about it. I think that's everything, you guys. So let's uh, let's I'll show you how it moves. Super controlled. Very little throttle input is needed. Very, very controlled, just the way I like it. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Very little throttle input is required. Same for reverse. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I'm a little twitchy. It's hard for me right now. It's super, super sensitive, super responsive how I have this one set up. And then of course it also has a ton of uh, wheel speed if I need it. I show it all on here obviously, we're on the bench, but it's 4500 kV. So even though it's ran through a 10 to 1 gear reduction unit, and it has tons of low speed control, it also has a decent amount of wheel speed. And that's only on 3S, it can handle up to 6S. So, very, very cool build. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you want to uh, see it actually running, oh, actually, before we go, let's go ahead and demo this stereo as well. Mob audio. Woo! Mob connected. And then it's connected. I done jumped up in the mix to tell y'all players still exist. I always step out clean from my head down to my kicks. Thinking how to get rich one money long is highway six. No toes, I ride the feet or I'ma swing and then swerve. Ain't worried about police, I'ma park all on the curb. I just in the city, now we getting exposure. I'm too cold, I'm too cold, but I swear I can get colder. Got a little hungry, but save money like a youngin' supposed to. I head straight to the microwave and heat up mama leftovers.